Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at some of Lisa Eldridge's satin lipsticks and one of her new cream blushes. I do have a second order arriving anytime now. That order contains um, all new makeup from her. So it's going to be more of the new cream blushes, the liquid highlighter, and uh, a few of the new lip gloss shades. Uh, the reason why I have two orders is when I knew this launch was coming and the restock as well, because these satin lipsticks is a restock, um, I was trying to choose what I wanted and I wanted basically everything. I think that's the story for most of us who had been anticipating this. Um, because I missed her satin lipstick launch last fall, uh, I knew I wanted to take this opportunity to try them. And every single shade, I watched her video on YouTube and she was describing the shades. They just all look so fantastic. Um, so long story short, uh, basically I added a bunch of things to my car, checked it out and then realized, wait a sec, I didn't get much, if any, of the new items like the blushes, etc. So then I went back to uh, place a second order. Um, all that to say, I'm still super, super excited to get this in the mail today. Um, I chose this pouch. Uh, this pouch is actually specifically designed by um, Lisa Eldridge's friend, who is an artist whom she met on a photo shoot set. And I guess um, this friend loves colors and they kind of just hit it off and became fast friends. Um, so Lisa asked him to create this design specifically for her. So I guess I just had to, I had to get this very beautiful and has like a velvet texture to it. I also wanted to show you guys how well packed everything came in. It's just like in good order. And while the pouch is just, you know, soft and has a lot of like give overall, it's still structured. It still stands really nicely when it's packed with like full of items. I'm going to take all of the lipsticks out of the pouch and I actually haven't even peeked inside the boxes. And I'll try on um, each of the lipsticks. We'll do hand swatches, lip swatches. And of course I will uh, add or put on the cream blush. Uh, the shade that I have here is Pink Poetry and again all, all the cream blush shades looked beautiful when she was demonstrating it so very excited for that. A little bit about her lipsticks before we move on to swatches. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have her lipsticks uh, but some of you guys it might be new to you so I thought I'd take the time here. Uh, she calls these her ultra modern, ultra comfortable, ultra luxury lip color. They're backed by popular demand, her or my super succulent, luxuriously lucent lip color. This easy to wear creamy formula is perfect for summer. And uh, this lipstick formula comes in seven shades and I got six out of the seven shades. Um, so we will play around with all of those. This is her lipstick case and has like, um, I guess, semi matte finish. And her logo is right here and it does have a magnetic closure. You know, I do like the idea of the semi-matte, or maybe it is like matte finish, is that it's hard to leave, or you won't leave your fingerprints on it, which is always nice, because the super glossy or high shine finish kind of cases, your fingerprints are gonna be left on there. It's just part of the deal. Um, but inside the bullet, this part here, is of a high shine kind of glossy finish. So the first shade that I just uh, randomly chose is Spirited Away. So Spirited Away is an homage, or I guess it's named after the uh, Japanese animation, uh, a movie called Spirited Away. And it's by the famous Japanese animation studio, uh, Ghibli or Ghibli, depending how you pronounce it. Uh, it's fantastic. I love that studio. When I got a chance to go to Japan, I went to the museum there and it's just, it's magical. Like it was understated for what they could have done. It was definitely not an amusement park, you know, nothing like that. It was a museum in a very low key, but still sensational, magical. Like I loved it. So I absolutely had to get spirited away for that reason. So why don't we go ahead and do a hand swatch of this first. These feel fantastic, or at least Spirit Away feels fantastic. Very beautiful, very nice. And by the way, these lipsticks are made in Italy with a shelf life of 18 months. The next shade that I have here is Rose Official. 
And this is Rose Official. Uh, this is like a cooler, maybe mid-tone pink. Then we have Kitten Mischief. So a nude pink. And this is Painterly. And I added Painterly right here because it is deeper than the rest of the shades. Still beautiful. Kind of like a plum color. Then we have Dance Card. Bright, bright pink shade. Oh, beautiful. And the last shade that I have here is Love of My Life. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Which one should we lip swatch first? Oh, you know what? Before I do that, why don't we put on the blush? So you guys can see how well this particular shade goes with all the lipsticks. Um, and again, this shade is in Pink Poetry. The shade Pink Poetry is described as a warm toned, bright pink in parts of skin with a refreshingly pretty true pink blush. Uh, works well on all skin tones and sounds like you don't need a lot. So I'm going to try to just put a little bit and you can really see it coming out since this part is clear. And I'm just going to use my finger. And I feel like you really don't need a lot. So you really, you really don't need a lot. I think I overdid it on this side. This looks much more natural because there was a lot less product applied. So I'm gonna try to blend this out a bit more and we'll see how well I can do that with my fingers. I might need, might need a Q-tip or um, a brush to really blend it. So I blended out some more and it looks better, but this side definitely looks the best out of the two. Um, and you really, really do not need a lot. I still have this much product left on the back of my hand. Um, maybe some of the other shades that aren't as bright, you could get away. If you added too much product, you can just like blend it and blend it. Um, this being so pigmented and bright, uh, it's much harder much harder to remove or kind of um, diffuse. Um, the blush feels really actually blended into my skin. When I tap on it, there's no tackiness. The texture just feels like it's my skin. Um, if anything, I feel like I feel the foundation. I'm wearing Westman Atelier today. I feel like I feel the cream foundation that I have on and not the blush. And the skin does look smooth. I don't think any texture is being highlighted at all. There is a light scent that reminds me of soap. It's very light, but you can smell it as you put it on. Um, I think the moment you finish blending everything out, it's gone, like I can't smell it anymore unless I put this up to my nose. Um, the lipstick, in contrast, are scented. Since the blush is nice and bright, it gives you, you know, really gives you that flushed look. I'm gonna start with the deeper shades first and then we'll make our way to this one here. And that shade is Love of My Life. So let's start with Painterly. I think this shade is beautiful. I feel like I've seen this shade or have lipsticks um, in a similar shade, but when I think about like which one would it be close, I can't think of anything. Um, it's somehow, it looks muted. You're like, it's a plum color, it's like a deep berry color, but then it looks a little bit more muted. And the lipstick finish is satin, but you could almost pass it off, like maybe depending on lighting, like this, it looks like a creamy matte to me. It doesn't feel like a creamy matte, but the way it just stays stays on, how it's colored or stays within the lines, very clearly defined, reminds me of more like a matte texture. 
Yeah, I think this is beautiful. Gorgeous. Next, let's put on Spirited Away. And this appeared a little bit more red than I thought it would on my lips. Like when I look at the bullet, I think this is going to be like maybe a little bit deeper, but I can see, I feel like I see a little bit more red. Um, and what's interesting to me is how well the bullet is designed. So I'm like just really easily and effortlessly coloring within the lines of my lips. Uh, typically I have issues when I get to these areas right here. But no, no problems with this one. I didn't really have to do any kind of, you know, going back and cleaning up these lines. Uh, it's, it's been easy so far. And they feel great, feel really nice. Just a very hydrating lipstick. Um, I do wanna take a look at the website to see how she describes the shade specifically. Spirit Away is a very modern rosewood which traverses the color spectrum from brown to red to pink with a warm tone underscoring. Enhancing natural lip tone with a touch of vibrancy to make the whites of your eyes brighter and your whole face pop with a healthy glow. Oh, okay. Well, now that we've actually looked at Spirit Away, I do wanna go back to Painterly. Painterly reads, paint your lips with this chiaroscuro tint, or is it chiaroscuro? I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that word. Uh, inspired by age old artist pigments, a deep mauvey chocolate hue with a blue undertone. Enhances lip tone for a just bitten look. Aha, uh -huh. that's what it is. I was saying how it was muted and all that, but it gives you a bitten lip look. That's exactly it. Well, of course. The creator nails the description because that's what she had in mind when she went in to create the shade. Yes, it gives you that bitten lip look. Wonderful. I love Painterly. Um, Spirit Away, I think it's a beautiful shade, although I am not sure I would wear this often. Uh, I'd like to see some others, uh, some other different skin tones with this shade and see what that looks like on them. Rose Official. And Rose Official is an alluringly classic blue-based light to medium rose pink. One swipe gives a barely there look or build to a voluptuously chic rose pout. Yeah, I, I like Rose Official. This is just the right kind of tone for me to wear that has like that pink coming through, but there's a little bit of red as well. I like the shade a lot. I think it goes nicely with the outfit and actually the blush. I think all the shades went well with the blush actually, or the blush goes well with like all the shades we've looked at. Um, but this one in particular, I think uh, really complements the look and the outfit. Next is Kin Mischief. And Kitten Mischief is a playful light buttery caramel pink tone that imparts a deliciously peachy toffee easygoing kissability. An everyday essential. I would agree with that. If you're not sure what lipstick shade to choose to go with your look, your outfit, uh, I think this is an easy choice. This is also one of those lipsticks you can keep in your purse because um, if you need some lipstick, some lip color, I think this is an easy go-to shade. Second to last, we have Dance card. I like dance card. This is definitely summer, spring, summer, where you just want something fun. And I like how with this um, brighter, more pink lip color, it makes the blush uh, more subtle, like in contrast, because the lip stands out more than the blush now. But the blush, the shade still goes with this lip color. So I think that's fantastic. Like if you bought this and you're waiting for this to come in, or you're thinking about this blush, and you have some of her satin lipsticks, this will go well with 
pretty much everything. Dance Card is a pink peachy coral hue inspired by the lipsticks from the late 50s and early 60s in Lisa's vintage makeup collection. One for prom queens everywhere and those in search of a bit of nostalgic charm. Well, I love this. This is probably, we'll see what love of my life looks like, but this is probably gonna be um, one of my favorite shades. And last but not least, love of my life. I love the shade. I don't think I like this top very much in these earrings. Yeah, I don't think it goes really well with the look, but the shade itself, beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. So love of my life is a vibrant rosy pink. Not too blue, not too red. It manages to sit right between the two. It delivers a modern sheeny flush of bright pink to the lips with one swipe or build layers to amp up the color. So I have like two applications on. I'm gonna go in for a third. Oh, beautiful. And all of the shades, this formula is beyond. It looks so even on the lips and I'm not even being that careful when applying it, right? I'm, you know, looking in here, uh, I could get a better application if I look in uh, my vanity mirror, but yeah, I could just, you know, I could just wear this out. I don't have to be too careful with the application. Again, the bullet design makes it easy, but also the formula, it just applies really, really evenly. I love these. Oh, these are fantastic. Well, I am looking forward to the blushes that are coming and also the glosses uh, because these just, you know, they've blown me away. They're so beautiful. Now I wanna go back and, and get uh, Atomic Cherry. Atomic Cherry is sold out. I'm not surprised, um, but the other shades that I have tried on for you today are still available on her website. I'll have the link below. And yeah, I'm just blown away. These are fantastic and they are so comfortable. So every time I try on a lip swatch, like a shade, I have to wipe it off. Your lips tend to feel really dry. And then the moment I add on the next shade, I'm like, oh, it's fine again. You know, I have, it. they're hydrated again, it's fine. Um, so I think it does speak to the hydration of these lipsticks. Um, really excited to try these out for like full days um, to see how it wears, how it transfers. I do think it's gonna transfer, but let me um, show you guys here. So there's going to be, as expected, kind of normal transfer for a satin lipstick that's really hydrating. That means there's a lot of oils in the formulation. Tell me what you guys think of Pink Poetry, which is the blush shade, and how you think it went with the colors uh, of lipsticks that we tried today. I think it goes, it can go with anything, but I have my favorites. I think it went pretty well with Dance Card and uh, Painterly, uh, probably Spirited Away. I'm not too sure about Love of My Life. I think I would want to pair it with something else. Um, and before we go, I'm going to take a few lipsticks out so we can do some swatch comparisons uh, just to see what they're like. And one thing to note too is the swatches on my hand don't really truly reflect how they may look on the lips because these look pretty sheer like that but once you get it on your lips and your two applications in you can really like the shade you see in the bullet is close to what you would get um, at least for me that's the case for sure so the first lipstick that came to mind that I want to compare to is going to be um, Burberry's First Blush. And I think it has, it reminds me of um, Dance Card. I know they're not gonna be the same, but it definitely gives me that vibe. And Dance Card does look pretty bright, but you can see the similarities there. I think Dance Card is brighter um, the formulation is comfortable, but it feels lighter. Uh, so these Lisa Eldridge lipsticks feel lighter on the lips, whereas this um, actually is goes on pretty thick, like one application. 
the two are similar. And then I have here, which is Dior's um, Satin Finish Formula. This is Pink Sakura. And I don't really have a particular lipstick to compare in mind, but I feel like it might fall somewhere within, you know, these two here. And these two shades are Kitten Mischief um, and Rose Official. Then we have Beige Belly from Sicily's Lafita Rouge. I think Beige Belly um, is deeper and has more brown and red tones than anything from Lisa Eldridge. Then we have Elmez Rose Ombre. Much more mauve -y. Maybe some similarities with like Spirited Away and Rose Official. Yeah, but I think it is um, notably more mauve -y. I was also very curious about Victoria Beckham's posh lipstick in the shade Pose, and I wanted to see how similar it might be to um, Painterly. This is deeper. It's more of like a purple brown tone to it. Finally, I have the Natasha Denona I Need a New Lipstick. This is in the shade Sava. And this is the lipstick formulation I had in mind when I talked about Painterly, how it felt like, or it looked like, like a creamy matte almost, but it didn't feel like it. And I really was thinking of Natasha Denona. And this is Sava. I think it's cooler than anything here from Lisa Eldridge. What I've noticed is the formulation difference. These lipsticks are very pigmented. Um, you put one application, it just basically covers everything. You put a second application uh, for any areas that needs to be filled. It does the job, but it also feels like, wow, you've added yet another layer. Like you could really feel it. Maybe with the exception of the very, very hydrating um, posh lipsticks from Victoria Beckham and possibly the Elmez one. But all of these here just kind of goes on heavy. Whereas Elisa Eldridge lipsticks feel pretty light. And with three applications, it still feels really emollient, really light. And the interesting thing about these is I don't feel like this lipstick is gonna bleed and go um, off of my lips or they're gonna bleed uh, outside the line of my lips. I just feel like at any moment it just looks pretty perfected and that I use maybe a lip brush to apply it. So between um, the shades and how she just kind of nailed whatever shade she was going for and it looks really beautiful and flattering, uh, the bullet design and then also just how you've got this emollient formula that's not heavy, uh, it will transfer so it's not like a long lasting lipstick but it's not gonna bleed um, off of your lips and I think that speaks to the formulation. So I definitely like everything that I've tried today. Uh, so glad that I did decide to get these lipsticks once she's restocked it. Um, most of the blushes, I believe, maybe all of them are sold out, but the lipsticks are available. So I'll have all the information below if you're interested. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.